Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another couch video. Manage your health, manage your sovereignty. Yeah, I haven't done a Sovereign Saturday in a long time, man. You know, so, but today is Friday though, but you know, I'm still, you know, I'm still working on it. Now I've had some people, they're not familiar with what happened, but you know, I've been saying, hey, stroke, people really follow me, no. They really know. They saw that back in October. And it's still building up. It, people don't realize how how, uh, how on how many little levels it's growing. But one of the things is even before that I said I was always I was already working out. I was already hitting some fruits and uh vegetables and stuff, uh and all of that, using some things. Really mitigated a lot of stuff. But, because it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Like, uh, like when I first started making videos again, I mentioned uh, uh, some game I learned at this uh, rehab place. And, you know, it, it was uh, interesting because as I was there at the rehab, that was just temporary for me. But there were some people there, they, that was their permanent home. That was their permanent home. And I was like, I was just looking around. I was just like, damn, jacked up if I had to stay around here. But what what I did, I made it so I had it so that would just be a temporary thing for me. Because like I said, even before the stroke, I'm still doing some stuff. Still doing some stuff now. Right? See one of the things is health is very important. Health is wealth. Health is very important. And not a cliche thing. You know, when I talk about body gain. When I talk about body game, I say, look, you don't have to be hitting the gym, getting all brolic and, you know, lifting and muscles and all of that. Good if you do, but I say a basic body game is just staying in basic shape. You need to be working out. You need to be drinking water. You need to be moving around. And then you need to be taking care of your mental health as well. But all of that is your sovereignty because when you don't do those things, then you you under someone else's ultimately under somebody else's control you know because even when you're dealing with doctors yeah you can tell a doctor no nah, i ain't using those pills no nah, i ain't doing that they can't force you but if you're in a position where you can't move around on your own then you're gonna have to deal with maybe a doctor you might have to deal with somebody coming around you might be dependent on someone just to bring you food no, nah, seriously, you might be dependent. There's a lot of people who, who uh, a lot of nurses or home health aides and stuff, that's their job to go help people just live. Shoot, even when I was going through rehab, doing a lot of occupational therapy, the therapy was, I mean, one of the exercises was taking stuff out of a cabinet. <laughs> you know, one of the exercises was putting on clothes. Yeah, I mean, seriously, I mean, yeah, it was easy enough for me. And shoot, and she walking, just basic walking. Now I'm, I'm walking way better, way better. I don't, I don't have to use like a walker or a cane as much. I'll carry one if I go, I go out for anything. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I'm not dependent, but unfortunately, some people are dependent. You know, but how, how sovereign can you be if you totally dependent on other people like that? Like just for basic physical stuff, like you can't cook your own meal. You have trouble putting on your own clothes, you know? And seriously, you got to think about that. You got to think about that, you know? Or you might be in one of those hospital places. And I'm, I'm just going to be real with it. I mean... It's not the best, it's not the best, unless you in some high, high-end place, you know? And usually if you're there, it's usually you're older and you got some rich uh, family members or something. But unless you're in a high, high place, shoot, you just a step above, uh, you, to my view, you just a step above jail. Because you got somebody saying you can do this and that and, you can only shower on these days, and this is all you're going to have to eat. Shoot. No. Nah. Because if you want to do, if you want to be sovereign, you got to do. You got to move around. 
You got to be able to move from point A to point B. And you got to be able to do it by yourself. You know? You got to be able to do it by yourself. You can't have somebody in there doing all this stuff for you, picking you up. Helping you get out of bed and everything. So you got to manage that. You got to manage that. You know, especially for a lot of young people. Now, some stuff is going to happen. Because I've had, a, uh, like I said, uh, the stroke thing was in my blood anyway. You know? But, and I've had some other younger guys in their 20s and stuff saying they went through some or a family member went through some. Okay, stuff can still happen, but you can mitigate it by, you can always mitigate it by just being as healthy as you possibly can. Do, do your best. I mean, that's all you can really, that's all you can really do. And there's nothing wrong with that. And then even when something happens, and it, it don't have to be like a stroke or a heart something or something with diabetes or kidneys. It don't have to be that. You could just be in an accident. You can be in an accident. Just it could be an ordinary car accident, or you could, you know, break your leg, break your arm, or something. Or you know, God forbid, you get some people to get shot. It can really hurt. You want to be in a position where you can take care of yourself, no matter what, even when something comes up. You know, you got to think about that. And you know, let me tell you what. There's a lot of talk when I talk about sovereignty. I talk about money, but you know what, your health, staying healthy is not really a lot of money. You're on a basic level. And if you have to take pills and stuff like that, okay. But on a basic level, because you can always walk. You can always drink water. And yeah, they got expensive type of waters, but shoot, depending on where you at, just more regular water. Just regular water, depending on where you at. That's a whole other conversation. But you can always drink water. Or you don't have to eat all the crazy stuff. And shit, you can, you can get fruits. And you shit. If you, most places, they got farmer's markets. So you can get fruits and vegetables and stuff. It don't cost that much to stay, to say, basically healthy. It don't cost that much. And you can at least do that. Now, if you got stuff in your blood, stuff like that, okay. Okay, you can still do stuff to like keep it under control. You can still work on it. And then, of course, since you're following me, since you want to be a productive person, well, you got some money. You can, you can probably get some type of uh, medical insurance or something. You can get something. And, you know, or get one of those few jobs that still got benefits. <laughs> but the whole thing is, regardless of how you do it, you want to keep your, you want to keep your health managed. And that's part of your sovereignty. That's part of your sovereignty. You don't want to put yourself in a position where someone else has control over the things that you're doing. You don't want to do that. That's very important, all right? So, anyway, manage your health, manage your sovereignty, all right? So, anyway, that's all I got for now. Get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.